In order to understand the link between acne, sugar and insulin, it's first necessary to understand at least a little about how sugar and insulin work together within the body. Your body processes the food you eat for the purpose of converting that food into usable energy. That energy takes the form of a specialised sugar within the body called glucose. The glucose is mainly produced in the liver, and when it is needed by the body, the liver releases the glucose into the bloodstream for distribution to the muscles and organs of the body. If too much glucose is produced, it is converted into another product called glycogen. Glycogen can be stored in both the liver and muscle tissue for later use when the body needs it. If there's too much glycogen being stored, the body converts the glycogen into fat. When the body is working hard, it first uses the available glucose in the bloodstream. Then when that starts to run low, the stored glycogen is sent back to the liver, converted back into glucose, then released into the bloodstream. If the demand for energy continues, then the body starts to break down the stored fat, turning that back into glucose and sending it out to the body. The question is, how does the liver know when to release glucose, when to reconvert glycogen, and when to start hitting the storage areas for fat? What happens when there's too much sugar? The answer to that is quite complex, but simply put, it's through the actions of what is called the endocrine system. The endocrine system monitors nearly every function of the body, and it does this through the use of hormones. Hormones are like sensors and triggers. They sense what is happening, and they trigger action. For our purposes regarding the acne-sugar-insulin connection, we're only interested in the energy-glucose-glycogen-fat relationship. Let's imagine the endocrine system senses that the glucose levels in the body are dropping during exercise. It sends a message to the liver to pump out more glucose, so the liver does what it's told. The liver blindly keeps doing what it was last told, and it's told until it's told to stop. It keeps pumping out glucose until the endocrine system now senses there's an excess of sugar. Now, in order to lower the glucose levels to normal, it tells the liver to stop producing glucose and at the same time tells the pancreas to start producing insulin. Insulin breaks down the excess of glucose in the bloodstream and the pancreas keeps doing what it was last told by the endocrine system until it's told to stop. By now the glucose levels will be dropping again so the liver is told to start and the pancreas is told to stop. This whole system is very delicately balanced and its parts are in a constant state of starting and stopping through the use of hormones. On an ongoing basis, it achieves an overall balance by being in a continual state of adjustment and readjustment and this is the normal functioning state of your body. Studies have clearly shown that a connection exists between the consumption of sugar and the aggravation of acne. Why? Well, take a look at what you just read and think about it. There's a perfectly balanced natural system that is constantly monitoring your blood glucose levels using insulin and other hormones in normal amounts. What do you think happens to that system when the body is fed pure sugar? Not food, sugar. Chaos. There's no digestion process for pure sugar that requires your body to expend energy in order to gain energy. There's no conversion process to the body's natural form of sugar, glucose. It's simply an instant hit of sugar directly into the bloodstream bypassing the entire system designed to monitor and control that activity. It sets alarm bells going off in all directions. And here lies the problem. There are many forms of sugar. Sucrose from sugar cane, fructose from various fruits, lactose from cow's milk, and on and on. To the body, they're all just sugar, and each are sent directly into the bloodstream. Also, when you eat any type of refined carbohydrates, white bread, white flour, white rice, it almost instantly sends your blood sugar levels up and naturally high as well. Your body has to try to get those levels down again, so of course it begins to produce huge amounts of insulin to counter the sugar. This is the source of insulin resistance due to the extreme high and low sugar levels being produced. When all this is going on, the extreme levels of insulin trigger the production of other male hormones called androgens. Their role is to control the insulin. The main side effect of these elevated levels of androgens is that the skin responds by going into an overproduction of sebum within the pores. Unable to get rid of this excess oil, the pores become blocked providing an ideal environment for bacteria to reproduce. Inflammation occurs and you have acne. Simply cutting out sugar, milk and refined white flour will certainly increase your chances of shaking acne, but sadly it's not that simple. 
The average acne sufferer will have a number of reasons why the acne is occurring and the situation described here may only be one of many. The real solution to acne is to find and follow an acne treatment program that can guide you through a range of diet, lifestyle and nutritional changes to get clear once and for all. Go to www.youracnepro.com to take a look at some of the best acne treatment programs available today.